Welcome to Savoir Labs, I'm Jamie Goodyear. Today we're going to talk about the performance of DeepSeek R114B running on a base model M4 Mac Mini. How does that compare to our Dell R250 system? Let's find out next. Before we begin, let's look at the specs of this Mac Mini. It is the 10 CPU core, 10 GPU core model with 16 gigabytes of unified memory. Before we start in, let's review what's on the screen. On the top right corner, we see BTOP displaying the CPU usage and memory pressure of the system. On the bottom right corner, we see the output from MVTOP. This is gonna show us what's happening from the point of view of the Apple GPUs. Uh, it's showing us here that we have accessed all the way up to 16 gigabytes, so it's seeing the full memory space of the system. This may become key when we're running the larger models. On the main terminal screen above us, we are gonna run the Olama benchmark that we have from Jeff Gerling that we used in our last video. So with all that said, let's get into this. We're gonna start off by running the smallest of these uh, base models. We are running Llama 3.2. We want to be able to compare this to how the Dell ran that model, and then we'll take a look at Mistral, and then finally we'll start running all of our DeepSeek models. Let's see how this runs. And here we manage 42 and a half tokens per second. Let's clear this out, and now we're going to run this with the Mistral model. and we managed to get 23 tokens per second using Mistral. Let's take a look at our first DeepSeek model now. We're gonna start off with DeepSeek R1 1.5B. I'm expecting this one to have a higher throughput as we've seen in our prior tests. And in this run, we got just close to 80 tokens per second. Let's take a look now at the next size model running the DeepSeek R18B, let's see what we get. And we finally got a result of 19 and a half tokens per second. Let's run our final model, the 14B, and see what we get. And with that, we have a result of just over 11 tokens per second. Let's take a look at how this compares to our Dell system. So let's take a look at our results. In our first column, we see the results from our Dell R250 system with the NVIDIA RTX A1000 eight gigabyte video card, and then our Apple M4 Mac mini base model. Each one of our tests we can see on the Apple side, we have slightly lower numbers for our tokens per second, except when we get to DeepSeek R114B. I believe where the Apple system has access to a larger memory pool, given that it's a unified memory model. There's 16 gigs that are there that it can use to get that model fully into memory so that its GPUs can work through uh, our requests, uh, which is kind of cool because that means that we can use these Mac minis for slightly larger models and get some pretty good performance from them. If we want to stand back and start talking about the efficiency of these systems, however, uh, the Dell system, being that it is a 1U rack mount, uh, we had to add in the extra NVIDIA card, we have a lot more hardware running there. Uh, it's using more electricity than the Mac 4 uh, Mac Mini. Uh, it is a more expensive unit to purchase as well if you're buying the uh, full brand new rack system, adding in extra RAM, adding in the extra video card, compared to just buying the small uh, Mac Mini Puck. That being said, uh, it is a really fun system to use and we use these uh, systems for various loads. Uh, the Dell system though because does eke out a bit ahead though for just raw throughput on these smaller models. That being said, uh, that are our, our results. Uh, I would love to hear any comments or questions you have down in the comments and please remember to like and subscribe to our lab reports. We love hearing from you. Have a great day.